Yeah, it's difficult knowing Kent will never play again. Makes the war so real. Which is odd, since it was all fiction that got us there in the first place. So you don't think we should stand up to tyrants? Sure. I've been waiting for the press to do that for three years now. I can't believe you took the bait. Yeah, me neither. Ugh. Oh. Press Officer Defense. Please ID him. This is the third call in an hour. Hello. Yes, it's a pleasure to hear from you again, sir. Yes, we're very close. All right, I fed his dentals, approximate age, height, along with the rough sketch I made from the tissue markers into the DOD database. The victim had lamb about an hour before his death. Of course, it's a little overcooked now. He toasted himself. Who cares what he ate? Just doing the job, Spooth. Big boy's telling you to sweep this one under the rug? Just can the left-wing conspiracy, Hodges. It's probably one of your nutball friends here on the table. I don't think so. Fabric found at the scene was cotton with synthetic polymers. Dye, olive green. This dude was wearing a military uniform. He's one of yours, not mine. Okay, his name is Devon Marshall. He served in the guard with Kent. What? He was there, in Mosul, the night Kent was killed. He was protesting? Marshall could have had a change of heart. It's not like support for the war is increasing. There are signs of additional damage on C1 at the base of the skull. This mark couldn't have come from the assault inside the cranium. I just think that you should be aware that Booth went through something over there. So I'm not supposed to tell the truth? Truth? It's opinion, Jack. It looks like a dimple in the bone. Could be genetic. There were no WMDs. That's the truth. Every major intelligence agency in the world thought there were. We should get magnifications of the area to determine what else could have caused it. Are you defending what's going on over there? No, mistakes were made, obviously. Yeah, like establishing military bases over there instead of investing a fraction of what this war costs into alternative energy projects. Nothing is that simple. To me, it is. We're ruled by the corporate oligarchy. Face it. There's also some discoloration here. You should do some scrapings to see what it might be. You want to make be. the world a better place, Jack? Try shutting your yap long enough to hear something other than the sound of your own voice. Hey. Where are you going? The scrapings? Huh? Oh. Yeah. I thought we were having a good time. <laughs> and I'd like you to input these photographs and enhance them for as much detail as possible. I couldn't salvage much flesh from Marshall's ear, but I'm sending anything useful up to pathology, see if they can match anything with the DNA they pulled from Jimmy Merton's cigarette. Were you really mad before? Why, because of your strident, paranoid ramblings? I'm guessing mad. Fair enough. Can I at least give you some material to read? You could try, but you'd walk funny for a week. I'd better work on these scrapings for Zach. <laughs> a silver star. I know how much you hate this booth. Let's just get it over with, right? Okay, I want a full set of x-rays and a clear picture of all fracture patterns and a talk screen and analysis of any particulates in the wounds. I know we don't see eye to eye on a lot of stuff because, you know, politically, I think we live in an Orwellian nightmare due to... What? You know, what are you trying to say? Just, I'm sorry, man. I really am. Did you find anything in the wounds that might have changed the trajectory of the bullets? Not yet. Just residual sesquioxide and silica accumulation. A little decayed organic matter, probably food that was on the floor. Thank you. Look, Angelo. I run on sometimes, I know. I guess I think if I yell loud enough, maybe someone will listen. Yeah, you have to be careful people don't go deaf. You know, what you did for Booth before, showing him you understood, that was good. Everyone hears something like that. 